Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I've been hearing so much um, in recent days on Twitter about this, uh, this new breed of AI technology that is blurring the lines between reality and uh, AI based reality um, even further. And that is this, uh, this technology that allows you to type in a string of text and it'll give you an image. So for example, if I write into one of these programs, a uh, man wearing a pink shirt, uh, sitting in a leather chair in an office, uh, they'll be able to AI generate a, uh, an image out of that. And some of the outcomes of that have been pretty, uh, pretty impressive to watch. So this is the latest in an ongoing string of uh, technologies like the um, acclaimed This Person Is Not Real suite of families with uh, GAN and uh, you know the rise of the metaverse and all these trends are kind of coming together very quickly uh, to create a reality in which we can really synthesize our reality with the help of AI. So this is pretty both exciting and potentially very creepy. So I decided uh, this morning, I have a friend on Twitter called Peter Duffy, who is extremely, extremely clued up on uh, everything in the space and tech in general. Uh, he, was a, he is a very good friend of mine, but when I was living in Ireland, uh, that's, where we, uh, that's where we met. So I went searching last night and I tried something at four in the morning. I didn't get very good results, so Duffy told me to check out something else, use a different, he, it's called a DAL E2 uh, network. And I'm gonna try uh, show you guys uh, the generator I found. So my first resource for uh, tech queries of all nature, of course, is Reddit. So there is a subreddit for AI matters called uh, R Artificial. And I was looking for an entirely, just a free, uh, text to image AI generator so I could just try this out as a one-time experiment. Uh, so someone mentioned this program called uh, RU Dal E. So I plugged this into Google and I got a demo page here on RU Dal E. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. Now, something you guys may know about me is that I'm mildly obsessed with slots. And when I was falling asleep at four in the morning, trying this out, I was like, well, I was trying to think of the most ridiculous mental image that could come to mind. I was thinking, I want a sloth. I want a hungover sloth because that's going to change the facial experience. I don't know what would a hungover sloth look like. So maybe I'll leave that one out. I'll do an easy first one. I wanted a sloth wearing pajamas, cooking pancakes at nighttime. Okay. So the sloth is cooking his pancakes and it's nighttime. And that's what I want. So I'm going to give that as my phrase. Enter text. A, sl a sloth wearing, apparently I didn't know how to spell pajamas. There we go. Got it right this time. A sloth wearing pajamas. I always thought it was a Y. Cooking pancakes at nighttime. And uh, they have uh, a captcha because I'm sure bots are very, very eager to use this technology and then you hit send and it's going to take two minutes so I'm going to put the video on pause and hope for the best. Okay so the moment of truth has arrived on RU Dal E and uh yeah, this uh, did not work as intended uh, at all. I mean, there is a sloth. It looks like they're sitting on bags of cocaine or uh, actually it looks like they're sitting on rounds of cheese in a cheese store. Um, they're not cooking. Um, they're in fact not even entire. So I'm gonna see if I can just, uh, here, ah, here we go. I can just pull off the image so you can see in more detail. I'm gonna just put myself down a bit so we can we can look at how close this got even even more. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like they're not sloths, they're actually dismembered sloths heads. Uh, it looks like they're sitting on top wheels of cheese in an Italian deli. And uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it is sloths, there is a second sloth dismembered head visible there. And it's like encapsulated in what looks like a crystal of some sort. It looks like a mum. Mum. It looks. It looks like a mummied sloth from like an, from you know that scientists dug up in a little bit, and um, I don't see where the pancakes are. I definitely don't see any cooking going on. There's no cooking. There's no pancakes. There's just creepy dismembered sloths heads, 
sitting on top of these vaguely crystalline, vaguely cheese-like circular objects. Uh, so what can I say? Um, this was RU Dal. Um, you can see, well, you can't see because my Chrome Omnibar is hidden, but uh, this is my first time using it. And the search continues, uh, is all I can say after this. Thank you guys for watching this interesting online experiment today. And if you want to get more videos from me, subscribe to this YouTube channel.